Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In one of my previous video, I have made the smart switch using this tiny circuit which you can easily purchase from the Amazon under 300 rupees. But there was one limitation, you could not monitor the real-time feedback as the manual switch was not connected with the ESP01. So in this video, I have explained how to connect the manual switch with ESP01 to monitor the real-time feedback. And here you don't have to write a single line code as we are going to generate the code automatically with the zero code features of the Synric Pro. After that if required you can also modify the code according to your circuit using their new AI platform. Then you can directly upload the code to ESP01 from Synric Pro platform. So you don't even need Arduino IDE for this project. So after watching the complete video, any beginner can make this project. Now before going to the details, let me give you a quick demo. Turn on smart switch. Got it. Turning the smart switch on. Alexa. Turn off smart switch. Okay. Now let me turn on the bulb with Google Home, then turn it off from Amazon Alexa. Now let me control the bulb with manual switch and here you can see the real time feedback on the Amazon Alexa. So this is a very useful and practical project using free IoT platform. So without any further delay, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium, a world class PCB design software trusted by many of the biggest electronic companies. The user interface is so simple, you can easily design any complex PCB in Altium. It brings together PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. It also provides centralized cloud storage, automatic backup and many more powerful features. And if you are a student, you can also enroll Altium Student Lab for free to get access Altium software and online PCB design courses. After completing the course, you will also receive a certificate of completion from Altium. There are many other key benefits, so I highly recommend checking out the Altium Student Lab. You will find the link in the description. Just enroll using your university email ID. It's a great opportunity for students and a great initiative from Altium to help you grow your skill in electronics design. These are the required components for this project. To program the ESP01, you can either use FTDI232 or you can also use Arduino Uno. Here we are going to use FTDI232. So first we have to select the 3.3 volt for VCC. Now we will connect the FTDI232 with the ESP01 as per the circuit diagram. In the circuit GPIU0 connected with the ground and after giving the supply you have to press the reset button to go to programming mode. In my previous tutorial I have already covered this you can find the link in the description. And if you want to use Arduino then please refer to this circuit for programming ESP01. Now we will quickly configure the Synric Pro for this project. You can search Synric Pro in Google or you can also get the link from the video description. First you have to create an account so click on sign up to create an account. I already have an account so let me log in with my email id and password. First I will recommend you to create a room so I will click on room then add room give a name say living room or bedroom I am giving living room. You can give any other name I will just copy paste the same in description and save it. Our room is created now I will go to devices here I will create one device. So click on add device, give a name say smart switch. You can give any other name. I will copy paste the same in description. Device type will be switch. Then click on next. If you want any notification alert, then accordingly you can turn on and off the radio button. I am keeping as it is. I will just do the next next, then save. So our device is created. Now I will generate the code with their zero code features. So I will just click on the zero code then select the device. We have just created smart switch. Now here for manual control, I will use latch switch. So I will select this switch button. If you want to use push button, then just select tactile button. Let me select the switch button for latch switch. Then I will click on next. Then here I will enter the GPIO for relay, which is GPIO zero then gpio for the switch which is gpio 3 and here i will use active low switch so i will just check this box then click on next then enter my wi-fi name and password 
then you can download the code but here i will open it with their ai platform so here you can see they have generated this code with all the device id app key app secret so this code is ready now if you want to do any modification you can do that here or you can also take help from their ai agent so here i want one modification the code is written for active high relay i want to make it for active low relay so let me type the prompt so in the prompt i have mentioned here i will use active low relay so for the low signal the relay will turn on and for the high signal the relay will turn off this code is written for active high relay can you please rewrite the code for active low relay now let me hit the enter let's see if it can modify the code for active low relay module so here you can see their ai platform now modifying the code according to the active low relay module it may take some time so here you can see it says so your active low relay will work now correctly the code send low signal to turn on the relay and high signal to turn it off so we have already done the modification now if you want you can also edit the code here say i want the relay should turn off initially after booting so i will just copy this in the setup relay i will just paste it and make this high to turn off the relay initially so digital write relay pin high it will turn off the relay initially after booting esp01 then i will click on save changes and if you want i will also share this code in the description you can also download it from here and just copy paste the complete code here and upload it to esp01 now from here i will just select the board in my case generic esp8266 module as i am going to program esp01 then i will just click on compile and upload select the com port click on connect so here you can see it start compiling the code now here you can see compile completed successfully now it is trying to upload the code to sp01 so here you can see initially it giving me the error error while flashing so i will just make sure the gpio 0 is connected with the ground and press the reset button again then i will again hit the compile and upload while uploading the code you have to make sure the gpio 0 must be connected with the ground and if you still get any error just press the reset button and try again and here you can see it starts uploading the code to sp01 so you don't need any adreno id you can directly upload the code from this platform so here you can see upload completed now i will disconnect the esp01 and let me go to the dashboard so this is our device now let me connect the esp01 with the relay module and then i will take a small wire and solder it with gpio3 to connect the manual switch here i have done this modification so that while controlling the relay manually we can monitor the real-time feedback on Cynric pro and you can use any other ac to dc converter to give 5 volt supply to this relay module and instead of the socket you can also connect a bulb now let me open the Cynric Pro dashboard and let me turn it on from the dashboard. You can see the relay turns on. Let me turn it off. Now let me turn it on from the manual switch. We can monitor the real time feedback. Let me turn it off. Again we can monitor the feedback here. Now let me quickly explain the connection. This three wire is coming from the supply. And here you can see the blue wire is connected with the earth of the socket. The red wire is a live wire which is connected with the common terminal of the relay. Then the socket is connected with the anode terminal with this blue wire. The black wire is the neutral which is going back to the supply. Then I have connected this AC to DC converter across the live and neutral. Here you can see using these two green wire I have connected with the live and neutral. And from the DC end, this red wire is the 5 volt wire which is connected with the 5 volt supply to this relay module and this black wire is the ground. So thus we have given the 5 volt supply to this relay module and we have connected this yellow wire with the GPIO3 and it connected with the switch. So the switch is connected across the GPIO3 and ground. Again the black wire, this black wire is connected with the ground. So the switch is connected across the GPIO3 and ground. So the connection is very simple. Now I will 
place the complete circuit inside this box. Please take proper safety precaution while working with the high voltage. Our smart switch is ready. Now let me connect a bulb with the socket. Then let me turn on the supply. You can download and install the Synric Pro app from Google Play Store or App Store. And you can control the appliances from here. You can see I can turn it on and off. Now let me quickly connect the Google Home and Amazon Alexa. So I will open the Google Home. Then I will go to all device. Then I will tap on add device. Then link apps or services. Then here I have to search for Syndric. Then tap on Syndric Pro. Continue. Agree the terms and condition. Now we have to log in with my Syndric Pro credential. This may take some time. So this is our device smart switch. I will just go to dashboard. So here you can see our smart switch. I can turn the lamp on and off from the Google Home. Now let me go to Amazon Alexa. Then I will tap on this three dash icon. Then skill and games. Search for Syndric. Tap on the Syndric Pro. Enable to use. Again you have to log into your Syndric account. So here you can see one device connected. I will just tap on next. I will skip this and in the dashboard if I refresh so this is our device and I can able to control the lamp from here let me turn it off now let me control it manually if I turn on the lamp from here I can monitor the real-time feedback on the Amazon Alexa so this is a very useful project after watching the complete video anyone can make it you don't have to write a single line code you don't need to configure the Arduino ID so if you find this project helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.